I'm Pat Ponisau here at the SAE 2013 World Congress in Detroit. With me is Rich Bizek. He's the global technical lead for Intertech Energy Systems and Electric Vehicles. He's also a volunteer for SAE International. Welcome, Rich. Thank you. So, I had a few questions for you. First, can you tell me what your responsibilities are at Intertech? Yes, first of all, Intertech, we are a global uh, testing and certifications organization, uh, and specifically in the uh, transportation technologies realm, automotive, for example, uh, I focus on the electric vehicle and the energy storage or battery system uh, testing and certifications. You do, so that's where your work with SAE comes in. Yeah, with SAE, basically I, I, I sit on several of the, uh, the battery and hybrid uh, committees, and I'm the chairperson for the battery uh, testing equipment uh, subcommittee. And so there's standardization work going on, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Yes, specifically within that uh, group with the testing equipment committee, we're focusing on defining the parameters of, of the various types of test equipment required to actually test energy storage systems, batteries, to the various SAE and, and other uh, industry standards. Uh, additionally, we focus on the safety uh, of personnel in the laboratory. As you know, uh, some of these tests get into abusive conditions. and. Uh, the, the safety of the, the lab personnel is paramount. So we, we want to focus on, on using the, the lessons learned from, from the industry, you know, leveraging SAE connections to help us uh, build that, that knowledge base uh, to, to make sure that, you know, again, lab personnel are, are doing their work safely. Which standards in specific are you working on? Uh, currently we're working on, on two recommended practices uh, that have not yet been defined, but uh, one basically lining out those test parameters for the equipment, and the second to be specifically about facilities uh, safety Precautions. What are the names of those? Uh, uh, they have not products? been named yet. Currently, the, these are these are just these are currently uh, just in process of, of trying to get them get get an outline put together, if you will. And so, how important are these standards to the industry? Can, can the industry move forward without these standards? Obviously, you know, the focus on the industry ha tends to be on on the actual test procedures, if you will, for batteries, uh, for for the actual performance parameters for the batteries, and, and some of the safety certifications. These are some of the called secondary level. You know, some of the things that really help out the personnel. The, the labs and, and the, the developers and on how exactly do they meet the requirements of the standards, whereas a lot of the, again, the main focus tends to be on what are the actual requirements for the, for the pieces of, the, of equipment. So how important is standardization related to batteries? Well, of course, you know, standardization, especially with uh, electric vehicles being a global market, it's really important that, that all of the local markets uh, uh, can come to some agreements on, uh, on what are those key key requirements, key parameters, regulatory and, and safety requirements. And, and it's really key for organizations such as SA International to work with those other international organizations and, and come to consensus on, on what are really the, the important factors and, and bringing the experts together in the field to help quickly uh, come to a, a consensus.